Good evening, my friends, and welcome back to the next episode of The Labyrinth of Time. Now, despite me saying last time, we're going to remember we're in slot two. I did not remember we were in slot two. I actually had to look it up on the tape, but we are, in fact, in slot two. So let's load that up. Now... We know we need to be using these to make progress, because we're stuck otherwise, yeah? We know that the left-hand lever crushes the train if you pull it twice. But pulling it once puts someone underneath the train in what appears to be a Wizard of Oz reference, but doesn't crush the train. But we also know that that is not enough to open up the mines to get Excalibur, right? Because last time we were down in those mines, those weird, they're like vertical things with circles on them. So that must be controlled by another lever, by one of these other levers. I'm thinking a reasonable place to start will be Pull each lever once and see how that goes, right? And we'll go with that. Now, between last episode and this episode, I have looked up a hint. Okay, so the hint I've looked up is where to find the light source. Okay, because I think that's sort of the next thing that we need. And without too many spoilers, right, because, well, <laughs> the, the, the hint sheet I found also appears to have become, been from the 90s or the early 2000s. Um, it says that it's, it's in the mine somewhere or it's in the town. It, it's like pretty vague. It just kind of says, like, go back to the town and pick up the lantern. So I know that it's a lantern we're looking for. So... That should get us through the surreal maze. No, not the surreal maze. The bit after the surreal maze. In the ziggurat where it's dark. Let's give it a go. Slot two is where we need to go back to if it's... Um, if it all goes a bit sideways and doesn't work. So, that's to be expected. No noise there. No noise there. Right. Now, let me remind myself where we are. We need to go... We're going to go to the old town first. So that's down this way. So we look first. We then go into the inventory. We go and find the keycard. Use the keycard in the slot. We're going to click the green button. And that's going to take us over this way and we go forward 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 we look over here we push the purple button now it's interesting that there's yeah these colors here they don't really seem to do very much do they um but anyway okay good thing we're wearing protective headgear we go in through here out through there no, this is not where we're trying to go. We're not trying to go this way. No, we want to go back through the mirror maze and up a floor because we're trying to get to the old west town, aren't we? We're not trying to go this way. We could go through that maze. Does that get us anywhere shortcut-wise? Not really anywhere useful. We end up going through the diner that's the hedge maze yeah nah nah okay right backtrack it is we took a wrong turn it's fine bing bang bong 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 push this button here i hope you're all having a great week this week um, we are going to then hit the orange button. Yeah, 
this game, you know, is is very trial and error, you know. Um, it's up, up, right, down, and then, uh, ooh, ooh, no, wait. Ah, left, and then we're out of here. Great. Now we want to go up a floor. Press this button here. So hopefully we're going to go to the mines. Did I ever look at this thing? I never pressed this thing, did I? You fail to move it. That can't be moved. Does it do anything? Can I take it? I can't take it. Can I open it? No. Is it anything? Somewhat hard to say. The plant pot, move it, won't move, take it, no, open it. Complete waste of time. Fine. Uh, right, we look over this way, we go here, here, to. Yeah. To the right, to the right. Now we go through here, here, here. Now, Excalibur should be available to us. You want to open that first, okay. Um, okay. Can I... Oh, well, that's weird, because I certainly felt like I pushed that away from the door, but okay. So that's great. So that, we can take Excalibur. Cool. Hmm. Aha. Aha. It's your classic rhythm. <laughs> Answer is behind a door puzzle situation. Brilliant. Okay, cool. Well, um... I can't open that. Okay. I'm hoping that's just from where I am. I can't open that. Okay. Cool. Right. We have a lantern. Location Grace had a big old RD problem. The town destroyed an earthquake fire on May 1st, 1882. Find local newspapers for information on the possible relocation of the graves. Find local new right. That's not the newspaper I have. It's the newspaper I have is about how thing disappeared, right? So this is April thirtieth. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The daily bullet is a newspaper place and we do have a roll of paper okay so this is going to tell us where the graves get moved my paperback my paperback nice <laughs> okay take that this is the daily bullet straight from the revolver april 30th 1882 cemetery moved for railroad extension all the graves in the revolver spring cemetery have been moved as the railroad extension project continues in easily town with the Today, after today's minor earthquake, every Indian in Robert Springs disappeared. Wait, how do I read more of it? How do I read more of this? Sorry, I'm confused. All the graves in the Resolver Springs Cemetery have now been moved. No. 
Nope, that's just a table. Now we know we're going to have to check behind most of these doors as well. Doesn't look like much on that one. And now I tell you what as well. Ah, oh, there was there was something else, wasn't there, as well that was written. I think this was in the official hints in the instruction manual. Wait, wait, wait. Hints, hints, hints. Wouldn't it be terrible to be in that rustic jail cell without a way out? We think so. Yeah. Now, obviously, there is the revolver that we've already found. Is that just a hint towards the revolver? Do we think? Okay, we can move the blanket forward and backward. Oh, look at that animation. Look at that, bla that blanket animation. Move the wall, open the wall. just seems strange, doesn't it? It seems strange that the hints say... Maybe the hint is hinting at the revolver, but that's not super clear. This is the thing, though. where's these graves going to be moved to? That's a weird door, isn't it? <laughs> That's a big step out of this room. Can't open the curtains. Fail to move, fail to move, fail to take. No, yep, fine. Yeah, I'm very confused how you... Was I not supposed to pick it up? Was I supposed to read it whilst it was still on the press? Like, was that what I was supposed to do? Or am I supposed to put it on the table or something? I could put the newspaper on the table in the hotel where it says put a newspaper here and then maybe I can read it from there. Yeah, thinking. Okay, right. Well, let's have a look at this uh let's have a look at this lantern in the meantime. So, uh, the lantern's going to be our light source. Here's the lantern. Excellent, great. A lit lantern. Perfect. That's going to get us into the ziggurat. So, let's go back to the hotel. Push the button here. Bing. And we'll push the button again here. Now. Which room are we trying to go in? Which room are we trying to go in? Here we go. So. 
This is the sign that says drop off laundry and a newspaper for room 14. So presumably we can put a newspaper down here. Great. Ah, now what does it say? No. Oh, we can't. Oh. Railway extension on the. How are you supposed to read that? Okay, so we can't take it back, so maybe the puzzle is just to put the newspaper here. Mm. Fine. I mean, we have the other newspaper in our inventory as well. which is the one I was presuming was needed for this puzzle, but this is a newspaper from the present day. He doesn't need a newspaper from the future. doesn't need a newspaper from the future so he needs a newspaper from the past because this is a newspaper from the past this is a newspaper from 18 something or other but now I'm kind of thinking that the purpose of the newspaper is not just to give this guy some news. Because this is 1912. This newspaper's from decades ago. This is a preliminary dig, gain access. Right, Mad Dog Nagging in 1880. Legend has it that Madigan found the chamber meant to return that he kept a map that revealed the treasure chamber. How many times I wish I could find that map, if it exists. I even visited the site of the town of Revolver Springs, where it said he was buried, unable to locate the old cemetery. Always believed he had the map with him when he died. So if we... If this guy's staying in the hotel... If we give him the newspaper that presumably says where Mad Dog Madigan has now been buried. If we then go to the future, and we know the gramophone is literally the same gramophone in the future. So there's a few different future environments, right? There's the space station, there's the subway, there's like that street that we picked up the other, um, you know, that's, that's modern day. But we know the gramophone from the hotel is in the space station. Now I presume this isn't going to trigger until we put both laundry and a newspaper down. I presume a newspaper on its own not going to be enough. Might be though, but I'm presuming not. I'm presuming we need to find clothes somewhere. Now we have a laundry chute. We don't know how to get stuff out of the laundry chute. But it must be clean clothes he wants. Not dirty laundry. So we're not fishing something out of the laundry chute, we must be trying to find clean clothes somewhere. Okay, it feels like this is starting to pull together. A touch, I don't know. 
Okay, well we've got a light source for now anyway. Now this person down here... You wonder if Minos will get your little dog too. Yeah, exactly. I take the shoes. I don't know. I'm not sure if this is... I'm not sure if that's supposed to be anything. Tricky. Tricky. Okay. We were on slot two at the start of this session. We're going to do a safety save right here because we're about to go through that one way door. Yeah. Safety save. Save it up there. Slot one. Let's go. Door is locked. Door is locked. Oh, interesting. You can't use the lamp with anything. It's just you have a lit lamp. Oh, again, I'm going to put a content... Oh. Okay. So. We're going to be back to the surreal maze. We don't really have any kind of clue on how to get through the surreal maze, right? We did it, we did it, sort of randomly, last time. So, like, I don't know if there's supposed to be anything. We sort of... The owl is definitely, like, in this... Corner. Is this something that you can randomly click your way through to get there? Or, or have I missed something about how you're supposed to have worked this out? Huh? I'm pretty sure we're supposed to get there. If I recall from... Oh no, this is too, too surreal to be mapped. I thought it was southwest that we're supposed to be going, but is it east the exit? There we go, we're out. So you can brute force it, and the exit is certainly south. So you're, you're, you're trying to just sort of wiggle back and forth, I guess, until you, until you get there. So we're at the ziggurat. What we did was we did something with these, yeah? And that's opened two paths for us. Northwards and southwards. Oh, our lantern working brilliantly. Hey, great, okay. So we can we can make progress. Let's take the south facing direction. Yeah, okay, so that's this way. So we got we got new stuff that we can look at. What is it? What is it? Oh Ah, oh, wait a minute, what is this? This is also sort of lever related. You feel better, but less sure about your whereabouts. 
Oh, is that what one of the levers does? We never... Well, I, I, I mean, I know, I know where we are. We're right here. We're right here. It's a long way down, apparently. Is... So what are we supposed to do? Do we build a bridge? Is that it? Is it is it three sections of floating bridge or something? Oh, could be. Could be. Right, we need we needed to have not really pulled that thing. Do we want to go back through the surreal maze? I guess let's go back through the surreal maze. Um, fastest path. Blah, 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 blah. Press this. I guess we've got to go back to the. Um, yeah, just not pull that lever again. So go here, grab the key card, use the key card in the slot. Um, push the orange button. Great. Uh, back into here. One, two, here, up, here, 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 here. Uh, if I recall correctly, it's like that way, that way, this way. Uh, that's the one. Bonk, 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 bonk. Nope, too far. Yeah, fine. Back into the surreal maze again. So we only got out of this when we started going east a couple of times, right? So should we try and go east, south, west, south, south, west, south, east? South, south. Is this a code you're supposed to be able to crack somehow? Well, it was the point where we went east, 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 south, east, 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 south, east, 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 south. That's what got us out. So maybe there is a little bit of uh, a pattern that you're supposed to follow there. So now we're in the ziggurat still. Okay, you've got a couple of paths, couple of paths. We have a yellow teleporter. We have... A dirty shirt. And a yellow teleporter. Okay. Open with what a chainsaw? What is what is it? Okay, whatever it is, it can't be moved, and it's a waste of energy. And we have a red teleporter. Really unclear what those uh, do. So there's a red teleporter.
So the purple one took us back to the bridge. Let's do the yellow one next. So do we just go back through there again and that's going to give us the final part of this bridge? Like, is that it? Could be. Could be. Um, let's also put the... So the dirty shirt needs to go in the laundry. Yeah? The dirty shirt needs to go in the laundry. <sighs> yeah, okay. Use in here. Back. Press. Orange. One, two, here, up, here, 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 up, yep, go here, and this is here, and there, and here, and there, and down. Getting that. Laundry is out here, yeah. Oh, interesting. So the bridge, not available from this direction. Even though, even though we are currently looking here, so it's not what I thought before, that this pyramid room... I thought maybe I'm in a pyramid and I'm looking out at the other pyramid. And so I've been on that platform looking back here. No, this is something that's sitting in the middle of the environment. And so it's blocking our view from the other side currently. Got it. <laughs> so, laundry. Laundry chutes open. Oh, do I need a safety save on this? Is this going to be one of those things where it's like you put the dirty shirt in and it's like, you'll wish you had that shirt. Dirty shirt. Why does the dirty shirt specifically, like the, these all have really interesting backgrounds, right? This kind of red marble background, this sort of <laughs> wood background where we appear to just have a repeating of the wood texture effect. Why does the dirty shirt, like, it's it's not even within the brown part of the background. I don't know. Okay, good. That needed to be cleaned. Fine. Close the laundry chute. Where's that going to be delivered? Where's that going to be delivered? Is it going to be delivered for me to the... Oh, I need this. Okay. Okay. So if we now go back to the... Um, um, okay, sorry, Surreal Maze. We're taking a break momentarily. Because... Oh, shoot, shoot. I clicked the wrong button. Oh, no, now I've got lost. Ah, no, I'm way, I'm way off. Right, I need to go south, south, south. There we go. Right. I'm going to go to the future. I'm going to find that megaphone. Wait, it might not even be the megaphone. There's a whole, there's a whole like archive in the ship's computer, isn't there? About like, oh, the various exploits of this guy and that guy, you know? 
Um, which one is it? Is it blue or is it in green? I think it's in blue, isn't it? The, uh, the thing. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Ooh, new world developments, okay. Primitive music player, formerly possession of noted archaeologist. Hmm. Thought it was a knock at the door. Um, Professor Martin Garrett, Professor Garrett characters, Grand Film with him to all his expeditions, including his famous vi final visit to the Ziggurat. It was a king named Uxmal, it was during that expedition that he ensured the, his lasting fame as the most successful archaeologist of the 20th century, proving his theories about the collapse of the Mayan civilization, which until then had been viewed with skepticism. Right. Okay, okay. Is the Mayan talisman the thing that I'm after? So wait, what? So where's where's the Mayan talisman located then? <gasps> it's in there. It's in there. Can I take it? Attention. Attention. The museum security system has now been activated. Please do not approach the exhibit. Oh, blimey. Proceed immediately to the nearest exit. If you require assistance, please see the nearest security representative. Was I not supposed to touch Attention. that? Ha 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 ha. Okay. The museum security system has now been activated. Proceed Okay, so we have a Mayan talisman. Make right. Sudden movements in the present. Uh, the press this one because we're going to now go back to the... Wait. This is not where we're supposed to have teleported to. What? Why did we teleport into the jail? That's weird. That's weird. Why did we teleport into the jail? Okay. So we're back through this way. Okay, okay. Good, 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 good. We press this button here. And we're going to go in and we're going to press number one down here. Now, we still don't know what the code is that's going to get us into there. Wait. Oh, no, 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 that's, that's where our teapot came from. We still don't know the code. But we do have a Mayan talisman now. What are you going to do? It quivers in your hand, but then becomes still. Maybe if I read the journal, it would be clearer what the Mind Talisman is going to do for me. First of all, though, let's do the Surreal Maze one more time. And that should complete us a bridge, right? So, east, east, east. East, east, east. East, east, east. Mmm, that's not enough. Okay, west, west, west. West, west, west. West, west, west. South, south, south.
Yeah, so I thought I had it before, but I clearly do not have it. There we go, okay, we're out. Who knows? A little bit. Who knows? Right, we are going to go in here. We're going to go for the yellow lever. No, we did the yellow lever. Sorry. We are going to go for the red lever, which is our last lever. And that should complete us a bridge. We've got the bridge. We've got the Mayan talisman. If we have a little look at this journal, I'm assuming this journal is going to tell us something about what this Mayan talisman is supposed to do. So let me have a quick, uh, let's just have a quick skim. Aha, uh aha, -huh, aha. Uh -huh. Failed to gain access to the hidden treasure room that was apparently found by the notorious outlaw. Legend has it found the chamber meant to return, kept a map. How many times I wish I could find that map. appears to be no way to open the door and after three weeks of attempting to get through we were forced to abandon but I have gotten ahead of myself the reason the ziggurat is so fascinating simply have to find the secret room now convinced the mysterious talisman he is said to have used does exist and may be hidden as to the source of its power it promises to be a unique example of mine art and may tell us a great deal about the dark side of their beliefs. It's no exaggeration to say my career depends on this discovery. Okay, okay, cannot really believe the success this time. The loss of his lucky shirt. Ah, oh, it was signposted. Right. Began to wear the shirt all the time in a foolish belief. All supplies are ready. We leave tomorrow morning. Cannot believe my good fortune, although I do not understand it. Just preparing to leave. One of the ho- Oh, the, the journal has changed. My lucky shirt and a newspaper. No idea how the shirt got here, but it was only the beginning of my amazement. It was nothing less than the last newspaper to be printed in the town of Revolver Springs before the town was burned in 1882. One surprise led to another. The newspaper says the local cemetery was being moved at the time. The graves already being relocated to a nearby hill. Only the tombstones had yet to be moved. They had no way of knowing that their town would be destroyed the very next day. I now know the location of the grave of Mad Dog Manigan. Delay an expedition to the cigarette and will leave tomorrow for the site of Revolver Springs where I believe I will find Manigan's grave. Cornelius, who's been excavating on the island of Crete, has made his own discovery. He believes that he's found the tomb of King Minos himself. For fear of grave robbers, he's sealed the cave with a heavy iron door lock with a combination lock. He should be entering the cave for the first time tomorrow. As luck would have it, today was his 40th birthday. So I was able to reply to his message with a double congratulation. All that sense of doom is listed for me. I am now positive the expedition will be met with success. Ah, shoot. So he doesn't actually have the combination lock. Oh, right, so maybe we need the combination lock for that hotel room. He sealed the cave with a heavy iron door lock with a combination. He should be entering the cave for the first time tomorrow. As luck would have it, today was his 40th birthday. So I was able to reply to his message with a double congratulation. 
Is that a hint? Is the combination supposed to be his birthday? Oh, okay. Well, my friends. What an episode! Oh, okay. We're going to try out this dude's date of birth as the combination, right? Three, I, I already said in a previous episode, three double digits. It kind of gives vibes of date when you cluster them in twos like that. So we're going to try out his birthday. The fact that it's his 40th, but yesterday was his 40th birthday. That is, that doesn't seem terribly subtle. And we have a building that we can go into over this bridge. I'm excited for the next episode. Hit that subscribe button so you get notified when the next episode's going to drop. I will see you guys soon. Bye for now.